nothing else you can use. I don't think so. I think I'm tapped out. 40, 60, 80, 1, 1, 20, 40. What are you on your kiss? Uh, I just want to sell four of them. Uh, I just want 50 of all four of them. 50 bucks for the set yeah, of four? Yeah, that, that's pretty good. Yeah. So I'll see you on YouTube. No kidding, do you really? Yeah, I told man. What's and your I, name? Yeah, Jim Fox. Jim, nice to meet you. Yeah, I see you all the time, man. I do a lot, you know. Yeah. Like that. I see, that's awesome. I, I look for me. I say, I'm going to see this man somewhere, you know. That's so funny, man. You do oh, good yeah. out here? Huh? You do good selling out here? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I've been doing it for about 10 years. Right? No kidding. Yeah. Wow. You know, go to yard sales, yard sales. You know, do you do yeah. eBay too? You just kind of no, just it local? Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I don't go to eBay anymore. You know, gotcha. I do all this out here. Yeah, keep you going up here though. Yeah. Nice yeah, to meet you, Jim. Now you take care of yourself. Buddy. Yeah, good I'll luck to you. On All right, sounds good. <laughs> He's a good guy. Morning. Good morning. How you doing? Good, man. How you doing? Oh. What do you got on this transcriber thing? 20 bucks? Did you go 10 bucks on it? No, I can't do that. Split with me, do 15. No, I gotta get 20. All right, thanks. That transcriber was selling for about $40 on eBay, so I really didn't want to pay 20 bucks for it. Anytime you buy electronics at the flea market, I feel like you're taking a gamble. It's like a 50-50 chance that it actually works because there's nowhere to plug the thing in and test it, and it's not like you can return it to the person. So I like to be at like 30 or 40% of resale value when I'm buying these things, so that's why I really didn't want to pay the 20 bucks. on your uh, receiver and your little tape guy here. Uh, 20 for both of them. 20 for the pair? Yeah. Did you go 15? The tape deck don't work. I'm just letting you know. This doesn't work? No. Okay. I'll give you 10 for that. That's all right. That's okay. 15 bucks. 20. All right, thanks. So this deal was pretty much identical to the last deal. It's funny that they happened back to back because uh, resale value on that walkie talkie was about 40 bucks, maybe 50 max. It's a little bit of an older one, but it still has a little bit of value. Uh, again, I don't know if it 100% works. So I really didn't want to pay more than 15 bucks for it. What do you got on these? Three dollars? Sold. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Good luck to you. How much is your racket? Five bucks. I'll take that too. Sure you don't want more? I might. I'll keep looking around. Thank okay. you. Thank 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 you. Yeah, about five for the pair. Would you do five? Works cool. Good. Let's do it. Give it a good home. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Same goes for that. Right. Whatever he bought. And three is your change. Two. Two will work. How much are the games? Um. Uh huh. No idea. <laughs> Yes, Mom. I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> Five bucks. <laughs> 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 
Let's see what you got here. How much are you pants? No. Pants. Uh, five bucks. About eight dollars for three. You got it. All right, thanks. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. I was trying really hard to find something else to buy from this lady because anytime you find somebody willing to work with you on prices and they're pretty cheap at the flea market, you, I just buy as much as I can from them. And I wanted to buy this Wavemaster punching bag, but they said it was filled with sand. And I've gotten enough of those empty over the years that had sand in them to know that it is a pain in the butt. If it's water, like it's supposed to be in there, then it's not too hard. But these can have some pretty decent resale value. Even used, these things can bring close to 100 bucks. What's going on, man? How you doing? Uh -huh. What'd you find? Uh, 64. 64, nice. What did you have to get for it? Uh, 50, but also came with a Wii complete too. Seriously, what did you have to pay for the SNES? 60. Dang, man, that's well, good. Well, that's with this and the games. Yeah, you did good. Yeah, well, I have another, I bought another NES and another SNES. This really? morning with games for, I have like 100 into it, but two of the games are worth like 60. Oh, that's awesome. What time did you get here? Uh, I usually get here early. Do you? So, are you the flashlight crew? Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> and, and, and a flashlight crew, and I've been doing it long enough that there's people that will like hold specific things. That's cool, this man. This is not hold, but yeah, and it's like oh, sure. it's a gamble because there's a lot of waste of time. Where it's like you're walking back and forth, people are just setting up. There might be one or two people, but if you you know early bird gets the warm, it's yeah, so absolutely. Here. But there's so many of us that do it. Sure, yeah. It's like it's you know 10 percent persistence, 90 percent luck. Oh, you're on your Smurfs. I'm sorry, what? Ten bucks for the set. Okay. Seven. I do five. Do uh, six, and I'll, I'll, I'll say that. All right, let's do it. Got some cool stuff. What is this thing? Uh, a frequency generator. I think. I'll say that's one thing I'd sell for. What I got in it. I'll do ten a piece on them. Do thirty for all of them? I'll do fifty for all of them. About forty bucks. See if you make the pile bigger. We might be able to. All right. Are these your prices? That's kind yeah, of ballpark. I, well, I don't. What I did was I dumped out display cases. Gotcha. Nine, 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 Sean. Pretty much all the cars in there are three of these. What do you got on your shirt? That's the thirty. It's it's the stadium one. Gotcha. And you're at fifty on your bag. Yeah. Uh, and you can dump it out like. In that bag, but there's actually a lot. I could tell there was a lot in there, yeah. It's just, if I do 50 on your bag, you go 40 on your rock signs? Uh, let's see. 50, 40, 90, 410. That's $40 for it. I think I'll pass on the shirt, but I'd still be at 90 on, on these two if you do that. Uh, what else did we? There was something else that. I think I paid you already for yeah, the uh, Smurfs. I thought you. Um, oh, this up here? Yeah. I'm not crazy about it. It just was kind of neat, to be honest. Just incredible stuff on the road. And I thought when I saw that, man, I You couldn't use any other bags or just. I'll take a quick look, yeah. These are all backstage and crew passes. Oh, interesting. And some of them are signed. I think Kenny G signed some stuff. Uh, I don't remember who all else signed it. Where are you at on your tape? Probably 10 bucks. Okay. Danger Zone. That's cool. Ric Flair on the front. Um, all right. I've got the passes, this bag, the rock signs, and the tape. Oh, Make me a deal I can't walk away from. Yeah.
Let's see. Can't use the keys? I don't think so. I appreciate uh, it though. Mercedes blanket? No, nah, I'm good. Alright, so what do we got? We got uh, I know. One eighty. It's like more like one fifty. One sixty, you got a deal. <laughs> Nothing else you can use. I don't think so. I think I'm tapped out. It's close enough. It ain't really close enough, but it's close enough. I appreciate it, man. 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Good luck to you. Thanks. What are going to your Griffey and your uh, Clemente bats? Uh, I was asking 30 on those bats, but... 30 a piece? Yeah. What do you got in your cufflinks? God, I'd feed five dollars on those. Those are team, you know, see what what team is it? What did I have on that? It's a 30 dollars. Yeah. It's all right, I'd still do five dollars, man. Those are from the Yankees. Now, how did I get that? That Roberto, man, that's, some, that's well, it's a cool bat too. It is cool bat, yeah. Griffey. Yeah, there's a few of those in there, and that's those numbers are goofy. You got some neat stuff hanging out back here. Yeah, it's it's in there because it's not organized very well. Yeah. What are you wanting on your Jordan Hot Wheel? Guy. I wanted to try to sell all of them together, to be honest. Oh, there's more of them? Like, there's another guy right here. There's two more guys. You got Duncan and... Um, Is it Iverson? Yeah, Duncan and Iverson. Is there more than those three? Uh, There may be four, but there was they were all right there. So it may just be those three if you don't see another one. I see one, two. Gotcha. There's, oh, those others are McFarland's back there. Uh, I'd take 40 for the three of them. 40 for the three of them? Tell you what. The three Hot Wheels and the two bats, I'd give you 80 bucks. Nah, I'll, I'll pass. I appreciate it though. Those bats, man, I, I haven't sold a bat under $20 and you know, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. So, so you're at, you're at six, at, you're at 60 on these and 40 on the things, right? So that's a hundred bucks. Yep. Let's split it and make it 90. I'll throw those in. That's, For the hundred? Yep. Deal. Because you know those, you're going to make your money somewhere. Yeah, let's do it. I appreciate it. Everybody's out here to make a little money. so That's I wanna, right, man. you got to work a deal. I appreciate you working with me. 100 bucks. I appreciate you, sir. Dude, I hope you can make a little on that. Yeah, I'll poke around and see what else I can't live without. Yeah. Thanks for your business, bud. Yeah, thank you, man. Well, I'm glad you brought your safe bag, too. You're better off that way. <laughs> right. What do you ask on your uh, University of Dayton hat? I took that last week on trade with in some other stuff. Oh, did you really? Yeah. And I stuck it in there because I knew it was old, but I had not thought again about it. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Looked up, don't have any idea on anything, but uh, made in USA, Scranton, Pennsylvania, hmm. J hats. Uh, I don't even have a clue. I have no idea what it would be worth to be completely honest with you. I'd offer 20 bucks and I understand if you don't want to take it. Uh, the only reason I'm hesitant is because I hadn't seen one before. Yeah, for sure. You know, you're, you're here today and you're a collector and a reseller and all that good stuff. You see, you got a good eye, buddy, because you can see the old stuff. We got on hand. <laughs> hey, you know, <laughs> you have the uh, stopper for it anywhere? No. 
60s, 69 on that one. Somebody had. Dude, I was asking 40 bucks on this. Okay. I know I had a sticker on it somewhere, but. What if I bought the hat in that? Gave you 50 bucks. Yeah, dude, you're taking my best stuff, which I understand. Uh, I, I appreciate that guy. I got to hold firm. It. I think a 20 would be the lowest I would take on that, and 40 is on that. Gotcha. And and I appreciate the offer, but I'd be willing to throw something in. But uh, sure, sure, you know, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's look for something. Uh, what about that? Uh, what about this little Jordan guy right here? If I go 60 on the two, you throw him in. You're a good dealer, man. 60. That work? All right, I appreciate it. You know your stuff, buddy. 40, 60. Oh, man. I appreciate I you, sir. All right, guys, I am back at the shop. I just went to the flea market and found a ton of stuff. I was finding stuff like left and right. Definitely my best day I've ever had at the flea market. I got everything pulled out that I bought. I'm going to show you what I found. I got a pretty good amount of sporting goods today. I got this Don A racket. I have not sold a lot of this brand. I'm not sure that they make, you know, that they're super popular with the rackets, but I think it's a decent brand. Good way to tell if a racket is cheap or if it's a little bit better is this bridge piece that goes across right here, if it's all one piece, then it's generally a better racket. But if you can see where it's kind of connected right here, then it's going to be a cheaper racket. That doesn't always mean that, you know, the better rackets without that welded piece are going to be worth more, but it's at least an indication. Um, I think this is a graphite racket. Could not find any sold comps. Somebody had one listed for like 100 bucks. I don't know what it's worth. Uh, I only paid 5 I'm pretty sure I paid 5 for that. So I think there's some money to be made. I think I got these from the same lady. These are, I'm pretty sure these are hockey shin guards. I think this is Gordie Howe. I think these are vintage Gordie Howe shin guards. It's really hard to read this part right here. And I could be wrong. It might not be Gordie Howe. It just says Howe Pro. I paid $3 for them. Can't find any kind of like sold listings or anything. But those were just way too cool to pass up. They're obviously cracked right there. But the fact that they're... Vintage, there are collectors for this old sporting good stuff. I got a bunch of sporting stuff from one guy. I paid up for it. I'm not sure how I'm going to do with this stuff, to be honest. He had this um, Louisville Slugger 125 Roberto Clemente bat, this Ken Griffey Jr. bat. The Griffey Jr., I saw sales around $30, so I'm not sure that's going to be a big money maker. The Clemente prices were all over the place. I saw prices at like $30. Bucks. I saw some around $200. I was trying to compare it for the 125 model, and then I guess different knobs say like rc3 rc4 so i don't know i'm gonna have to list it high maybe take offers on that one i bundled these with these hot wheels and i want to say i'm sorry i bundled these with the hot wheels and these cufflinks and i paid 100 bucks so i got the three hot wheels the cufflinks and the bats and the hot wheels are pretty cool radical rides i got michael jordan tim duncan and alan iverson these are going for about 20 to 25 dollars a piece these cufflinks, I knew what these were because I actually have a pair of these that are from a baseball used in a Cincinnati Reds game. He had Yankees and Red Sox, and these little things actually have a tiny sticker on the back of them that have the MLB authentication. You might be able to see it right there. It's a little hologram, and it's got a little number, and you go to uh, MLB authentication, you put in that number, and it tells you what game they were used in. So it's a really cool piece. They sell these in the team shops. I think they sell new in the shops are about 40, 50 bucks. So I might try to get 20, 25 bucks a piece for them. I got some Smurfs. Let's see, I've got four little guys and then Papa Smurf. These are from 1981 Wallace Berry and Company. I paid $6 for all five of them. I'm not sure that these were a great buy. I saw Papa Bear and another one, I'm sorry. I saw Papa Smurf and another one selling for, I think about 15 bucks. I might try to get 20 bucks for all five, I'm not sure. I got a bunch of passes from the same guy. As a matter of fact, after I bought the Smurfs, he and I made a bundle deal on a handful of stuff. I ended up spending, I think, 165 total. Five on the Smurfs, 160 on the rest of the stuff. He had these wrestling local crew passes from SmackDown 2001. And I didn't even look these up. I thought they'd be worth more. I just now looked them up. There were some unused ones that sold for about five bucks. So I'm not sure that these have a ton of value, but there are a lot of them. Just the wrestling alone, it looks like there's maybe about 10 of them. And then there's a lot of music ones that really caught my eye. Carnival Madness, Lionel Richie, Moody Blues, Kenny G. And he said that these were signed. This one anyways, looks like it was signed by Kenny G uh, from 88, which is pretty cool. 
Let's see what else we have. Simple Minds tour from 85, 86. Tears for Fears. That is really cool. I don't know that these have a ton of value. I've seen these up for sale from time to time. And I think generally speaking, you can get like 10 to $20 for them depending on who it is. If it's somebody really special or rare, you might be able to get something more. It just kind of depends on how big of a following the band has. But these will be easy listers. Who is this? Billy Graham? They'll be easy to list, easy to ship. Eddie Money, that's a cool one. 38 Special. I'm not sure who that blue one is with the Cobra. No Hall, too small. Rod Stewart, dressed up as Santa Claus. Working Stagehand. Diana Ross, Luther Vandross. Johnny Rivers. Chubby Checker, that's cool. This one caught my eye. Puff Daddy and the Family No Way Out World Tour. I thought that was really cool. Tracy Lawrence, Kentucky State Fair, Sean Scanlon. Some of these are probably worthless if we're being honest. Benny Hinn, David Copperfield. Yeah, some of these are probably worthless, but some of them I think will do okay. So I'm excited to go through and list all those. These were a really good find. Uh, these are Tiger Hit Clips. I've heard about these. I've never found them. So this kind of predates MP3s a little bit. These were put out, what year were these? I think it was, oh wait, 2001. So 2001, I think the iPod was just about getting ready to come out. They had maybe some other MP3 had just came out, but these were little things you put inside the boom box and it would actually play music. And these are both sealed in the plastic. They're both Backstreet Boys. One of them's got a little like a uh, remote thing. I paid, I think, five for the pair, and I saw the same one selling for $50 free shipping. So keep an eye out for these Tiger Hit Clips things. Got this wrestling tape, The Danger Zone, as part of that uh, bundle deal. And I just noticed it's, like, pushed in really bad. I guess that's just the cardboard. I thought it was sealed. Looks like it's been kind of torn just a little bit. I saw used versions of this going for, like, 10 to 20 bucks. So probably not a big moneymaker. I got three PS1 games. And I think I paid $8 for all three. Didn't look them up. I knew Final Fantasy had some value. It turns out that's actually the least valuable one. That's selling for about 20 to 30 bucks. This Legend of Dragoon is going for 60 to 70. And so is this Grandia going for about 60 to 70 bucks. I looked inside. All the discs are there. Cases are not in great shape. The discs will almost definitely need to be resurfaced. The, uh, the PS1 discs are notorious for just getting tons of scratches. I didn't even look at them, but I'm sure that they'll probably need to be resurfaced. But for eight bucks, I'll gladly invest some extra money, get these resurfaced, and uh, flip them and make some good money. Got this amazing UD Flyers hat, old styrofoam hat. UD is a uh, University of Dayton. It is about 45 minutes north of me, and just a really cool hat. J Hats, Scrant, Pennsylvania. Guy said he had just got it in a trade. He wasn't really sure what to price it at. And I bought this the cleveland browns vintage bank and this little michael jordan thing for 60 for all three this could be worth 10 bucks it could be worth 100 i honestly have no idea but i think it is definitely rare it might take a while for me to find the right buyer for this so i'll probably just list it high and put on best offers this one i probably overpaid i saw similar ones going for like 40 50 bucks it's kind of cool they put the the date on there but it is football season, so I'll get it listed and hopefully make a little bit of money. And then this little guy right here is worth about 20 bucks. This Joe Morgan McFarland figure is just going to stay in my personal collection. The packaging's in really bad shape, so I'm just going to cut it out of there and set him up and put him on the shelf. This is a rosy red fan club seat cushion I got for a buck. That's just going to stay in my collection. I got six of these Know Your Role, The Rock, WWF metal signs all new in the plastic and they were part of that $160 deal that I got with the guy these I didn't see any sold listings which is a little concerning and then there's like four or five people that have them so it's <laughs> might take a while to sit on these I saw people list them for like 20 to 30 bucks plus shipping the beauty of these is it's just going to be one listing quantity six so not too much work this whole bag of little like trinkets and doodads was also thrown in on the deal for the 160 bucks and i'm kind of curious i didn't even open this up so i might open this up really quick and just kind of look around and see what all's in here a lot of this is probably worthless but i think some of it might be okay that's a cool chevy van patch some random patches triangular bandage like some military patches not even sure what that is might be like a little Hummel figure, I think. Cool little like compact case. 
Huh, double made me do it patch. Interesting. Old ticket for Dr. Butcher's Meat Market. What in the world? Paul Masson Rare Cream. There's a bunch of random stuff in here. Bunny. That's an interesting patch. Old knife. I love Clipper Skinland button. There's a big coin, University of Louisville Bicentennial, old lock, a lot of the stuff might just be junk. I've seen different listings on eBay too for like uh, junk drawer cleanouts. So maybe I'll put some of this in like a big junk drawer uh, cleanout lot. We'll see. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.